Out-of-state investors, you're looking at a new market. You see a property like this. The price is right. Should you buy it? Who knows? I do. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. This is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, help you guys start, build, grow your real estate portfolios. We're out here in Cleveland running the largest scattered site real estate portfolio. Okay, We have sold over $200 million worth of this stuff to investors just like you, right? Why? Why do we sell so much? Why are we so successful? Is it because I'm a badass fucking salesman? Probably. I don't know. But what I think the real reason is, right? I think the real reason is no bullshit. It's because we're no bullshit, right? We give you the good, the bad, the ugly. We call it like we see it, right? I ain't got no reason to fluff you. I ain't got no reason to tell you guys you invest in real estate is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, right? The business is tough. It's a hard business. But if you work hard at it, you make some uh, appropriate decisions, you invest your cash in the right places at the right times, you make a lot of money, right? So I don't got to sell you guys on real estate, okay? I just got to call it like I see it. That's what I do, and I think that's why things have worked so well, and I think that's why companies like AHS Consulting from New Jersey decide they want to work with us, right? You guys sent me a portfolio of properties today, okay? This is the fourth one. I did four videos for you guys today, right? Give you guys my unbiased opinion on them all. The other three, they were dogs, man. They were tough, tough, rough ghetto properties. I don't think they made sense for you guys, right? I don't think that there are bad properties, and I don't think there are good properties, folks. I think there are any property, any property could be good if it's sold to the right investor at the right price. Any property can be bad if it's sold to the wrong investor at the wrong price, right? And AHS Consulting, you guys were the wrong investor, in my opinion, for all three of those properties because you're not local. You don't have ties to the community. You're not able to hire a third-party property manager who's licensed and reputable because the neighborhoods are, are too rough to where they turn away that type of work. So I didn't think any of those investments would work for you, which leads us to our fourth investment. This looks pretty nice, though, right? Obviously, you got a little bit of stuff going on here, but like one garbage bag and like a little bit of messed up stuff there. I mean, this looks like your typical C-grade neighborhood, okay? But there is the problem, guys. There is the problem. It looks cool. It looks like we found a winner. But we didn't. It's still a dog, just like the rest, okay? That's that's what it's all about, right? You could frame anything and make it look good. This photo looks like it's a good neighborhood, but boom. You go across the street, right there. There's no house. You go over here. What do you know? They just tore that house down, okay? You cruise down a little bit more. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> just going down the street. A little bit further, big, huge, empty, just messed up field of just blight and horribleness. Cruise onto the other street. Right here, missing another house, right? What these empty lots are, guys, these are when uh, the neighborhood is so blighted. There's so much blight. The houses are just are wrecked. It doesn't make any sense to, to actually fix them up, right? The owners let them go, go down, be dilapidated, and then they just tear them down, right? And this particular neighborhood is going to be filled with them, right? Here you go. Here's another one. There used to be a house there, okay? We could cruise down this way. I mean, we could do this for hours. There's not going to be one of these streets where we don't see... A lot where there used to be a house and now there is no longer a house. Like that is just purely commonplace, right? Here's another one. There used to be a house there, okay? Now, understandably, some of these, uh, you know, some of these <clears throat> homes on this particular neighborhood, they look like halfway decent, right? They looked okay, right? Like even the subject property itself looked nice, but. All you have to do is do like a little bit of investigation and you can see the blight is still there. That's what I'm talking about at the beginning of the show. That's why I think Holton Weiss does so well. We don't like uh, sugarcoat it or, or, or try to hide it, right? We just tell you, we just shoot it like, you know, shoot it straight. Shoot it to you like it is, right? Like here's the cops. 
There's only three properties that have sold in a, a quarter mile radius of this particular property. Three three duplexes, rather, right? I, when you do comps, guys, you got to do like properties uh, over a quarter mile radius. And I like to do them six months out, right, for urban areas like this where there's a dense population, okay? But here's the issue. Neighborhoods like this, they're so blighted, okay? You don't get a lot of transactional data, okay? So I went out a year because I did it by six months and I only found two comps. So in, in a six month time period, last six months, only two properties sold within a quarter mile of this. So I had to double it up. I went a year and then we only got three, right? So in a six month period, only one person thought it was a good idea to buy a house over here, okay? If you're wondering, right, the, these, these Cleveland neighborhoods, you get like a C grade neighborhood, which is where Holton Wise does the most of our work. Over a one-year period, I should have over 100 comps to work with, right? So you're in an incredibly blighted neighborhood. No matter how you try to present it and frame it and crop out all the bad stuff, you're still dealing with really rough stuff. You got one home that sold for 22, the other home sold for 25, one sold for 29. This one, 1516 East 173rd, the owner wants you to pay 45, right? So that doesn't make any sense already. You're paying way more than anybody else thought made any damn sense. Yes, you're getting a good rent roll, six and a quarter each, you know, that's twelve fifty, fifteen thousand. But dude, I don't know what you're gonna see out of that scheduled fifteen thousand. Reputable companies don't want to work in neighborhoods like this. I know Holton Wise doesn't. You know, my employees, they don't want to do it, right? This is how people quit, right? They're scared to drive into these neighborhoods. These neighborhoods are dangerous, right? Like if you just go uh to an overhead shot, right? Here is one of the comps, right? And just picking a street, right? Picking a street at random for you here, like just this random screenshot, okay? Let me just make this a little bigger so you can see it, okay? Just what I can see on my screen, folks. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We got vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, okay? They're everywhere, guys. The whole thing is just like blight, vacant lot, vacant lot, right? The blight is all over the place, right? Vacant lot. So just like anywhere... You know, in a quarter mile radius that I pull up uh, this particular property, we're, we're just seeing like just a ton of blight, right? It's, it's, it's just, it's super risky, right? Here's some blight, 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 right? Blight, big old parking lot. I think this is like turns into some industrial stuff. So it, it's just a, it's just a rough, tough neighborhood. And I think for, you know, an investor who's coming to the market, new to the market, you can do so much better, right? Even at the price point of 45000 I think you'd be better off in, like, the Clark Fulton neighborhood, for instance. Like, that is a neighborhood with some blight, yes. Uh, it's difficult to work in that neighborhood, but it's not as dangerous. Reputable companies will work there. We will work there. And it's got some uh, some things on the horizons, right? Like, they're investing a billion dollars into Metro Health, right? That's right in that neighborhood. And they're building low-income housing around their campus and they're injecting some of that money into the campus, right? So if you're going to go with a risky property, that's where I would go. Over here, it's already risky, right? Number one, you're going to have a hell of a time finding people to work the property for you, number two. Number three, you're already overpaying because in the last year, the most anybody thought a house was worth out here was 29 Gs, right? And this guy wants you to pay 45, right? So for all those reasons, I think you guys are the wrong people for this investment, and I think 45 is the wrong price. If you could pick it up at 25K, you know, maybe you could try it. But again, you're going to run into the issue. Who are you going to hire to manage the property, right? You can't manage them tenants from New Jersey. It just ain't possible, right? And, you know, myself, we ain't touching it. We don't think any of our other bigger competitors out here are touching it so you know there it's just it's not the right first property for you guys to jump into in the cleveland market in my opinion folks so that's it that's what i got that's my thoughts on the building 
Everybody else, if you're considering investing in Cleveland, what you want to do is send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We will call you. We will talk to you about your wants, your needs, how our process works, give you all the info, and we can get started, and you'll get yourself a video just like this one. That's all I've got. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. Like, subscribe. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.